I'm Sarah Lees and I live in Brooklyn, New York. I work primarily in the pleasure and hospitality fields and have been for around the past 10 years. Today, I'm hosting a party and inviting you all to get a little glimpse into what it's like for me to do one of my favorite rituals and celebrations, which is hosting people that I love. Join me. The menu that I created today for folks um, is exciting because it's primarily using all local ingredients that I got on my way back from upstate. So I have a local sweet corn that I really just quickly for like 20 seconds boiled and then um, put some delicious butter and lime and sea salt on it. A big green leafy salad with lettuces and watercress and cherry tomatoes and Kirby cucumbers. Um, and a bunch of different herbs. And then this herby dressing that I made with a bunch of herbs that I had in my fridge. I also made some butter basted uh, and pan seared oyster mushrooms. I served that on a fava bean puree um, with some olive oil and chili uh, chicken with uh, some heirloom tomatoes and red onions and a bunch of garlic and olive oil and herbs. Yeah, I think the menu is really bright and summery and really celebrates the season. My hosting style, I think, is also similar to my cooking style. I really want to use the seasons to create a beautiful experience for our people. In the summertime, I create a menu that is light and it's not something that people are gonna leave feeling heavy or weighed down in any way. I'm excited about it. I think hosting is really important because it's a ritual that brings together community in a moment where everyone can slow down, carve out time for being taken care of. It's my way to love on people and to take care of, of people and to show them how special and important they are to me and to give them everything that they want while they're in my space. Hosting is a beautiful art form that a lot of people don't consider. It's just so wonderful to see the way that people light up and loosen up and become more of themselves when they feel held and they feel comfortable. I usually get a funky bouquet of flowers. Um, in this instance, my friend Naima brought me some beautiful tulips. Just turn on music and really just make sure that my space feels calm and easy and accessible to people.